Hello everyone. Now I would like to show you a systematic English grammar while watching this video. Please concentrate. The verb. Kinds of verbs. What is a verb? A verb is a word which says something about a subject. John hit Tom. The boys are playing football. Kinds of verbs. Read carefully these sentences. The man killed. What? The man killed a snake. The hunter shot. What? The hunter shot a tiger. The boy pulled. What? The boy pulled the box. In all the sentences you noticed, the verbs alone, shown in color, do not make complete sense. Something must be added to each to complete the sense. The words snake, Tiger and box are called objects of the verbs killed, shot and pulled. Learn A verb which requires an object after it to complete its sense is called a transitive verb. Now read these sentences. Fire burns. The girl smiled. The sun shines. Birds fly. In these sentences, the verbs burns, smiled, shines and fly make good sense. They do not require objects after them to make complete sense. Learn A verb which does not require an object to complete its sense but makes good sense by itself is called an intransitive verb. Now look at another set of pictures and sentences. A dog is an animal. The woodcutter seems tired. A thief always lives in fear. The woman became sad. The verbs shown in color do not make complete sense by themselves. But at the same time, these verbs do not require objects after them to complete their sense. They require other words to complete the sense. Such verbs are called verbs of incomplete predication. The word of praise added is called the complement. A complement is that which completes the predicate. Pick out the verbs in the following sentence and say whether the verb is trans to, in trans to or incomplete predication. Pradip closed the window. Trans to. Parrot screech. In trans to. The king met a beggar.
फ्रांस टू द बॉय इज फ्लाइंग ए काइट फ्रांस टू शी लुक्स हैपी इन फ्रांस टू they have won the match friends to the ball gobbled the old woman friends to he is guilty in friends to sorry incomplete the angry beggar stole a loaf of bread transitive life is uncertain in transitive incomplete not in transitive incomplete ये ग्रीन मार्क शोइंग ऑल दिस और आंसर्स पिक आउट द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स इन द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंस बाय अंडरलाइनिंग देम आई से व्हाट काइंड ईच वन इज ए हंड्रेड रन्स मेक ए सेंचुरी व्हिच ट्रेन गोस टू जम्मू interrogative quality i will show these answers after reading questions a little kindness is all i need each man man has to speak for himself the scenery of kerala kerala is beautiful jaydeep is on an honest worker A certain man cheated me. Pick up your books. Those mangoes are sweet. Who has brought these gifts? These are solutions. adjective kinds of adjectives you know that an adjective is a word that is used to add something to the meaning of a noun as anil is an intelligent but a careless boy the old man carried a heavy box She is poor but happy. Kinds of adjectives. There are 8 kinds of adjectives. Adjectives of quality tell us of what kind a person, place or thing is. As The rose is a beautiful flower. Ashoka was a good and wise king. Adjectives of quantity tell us how much of a thing is intended as A little knowledge is a dangerous thing. She had sufficient money half a loaf is better than no bread adjectives of number tell us how many persons or things there are or in what order any of them stands 
as many persons were killed in the explosion several men came to see the lion most people have to work hard for their living she had 12 rupees in her purse the first boy won the prize demonstrative adjectives point out which persons or things are meant as i like these mangoes she lives in yonder house such people are dangerous a certain boy helped her interrogative adjectives are used with nouns to ask questions as what color is your hair whose purse is this which train goes to mumbai possessive adjectives are used with nouns to show possession as my book your pen his shoes her purse its tail our classroom your friends their parents distributive adjectives are each every either and neither each boy must take his turn every man must do his duty either pen will do neither statement is true proper adjectives are formed from proper nouns as french wines japanese goods indian tea remember adjectives can be used both attributively before nouns and predicatively after the verb attributive use predicative use this is an interesting story this story is interesting these are ripe mangoes these mangoes are ripe these are sour grapes these grapes are sour they are brave soldiers the soldiers are brave amir is an intelligent boy amir is intelligent change this sentence using adjectives predicatively attribute use predicative use there are honest workers these are raw bananas these are juicy apples this is stale food this is brown bread now i'll show solutions instead of the words in italics choose from the bubbles the one which means the opposite sweet grapes sour little money more ugly duckling 
ब्यूटीफुल वाइज मैन फूलेश ब्राइट डे डल रिच बेगर पुर शार्ट मैन टॉल कॉस्टली गिफ्ट चीफ ब्लैक शेट वाइट लार्ज हाउस स्मॉल थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर इट टू योर फ्रेंड्स